Okay, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how we are going to determine the moment of inertia of composite bodies. Okay, uh, so here uh, we're going to see example on T section. So uh, the question is determine the moment of inertia about centroidal x axis. Um, the know let's see T section uh, moment of inertia about centroidal x axis no for no. Therefore, and then it yak ever mega man gze, image mara stepachin mion omen deno, same trade mafaleg honal maltno. Um, sometimes, uh, sele nomino finish about base axis lint take each ralen, but that's at maybe, um, same trade mafaleg las felegan each ral maltno. Okay, um, step one, divide the composite shape into simpler known shapes and calculate the centroid. Okay, um, T section no selezi la hulet. And kafalo alan and then yaw shape one lolan flot and shape to lolan. Simple in the kadim yemajamara video about centroid uh sele centroid as a yachun design it strategy tatakman centroid in fellagal. Therefore, area of segment one base times height one al base sentinel 120 mm and height is 20 mm. Therefore, base times height sentinel 2.4 times 10 to the power of 3. Okay, what is y till d for shape one? Ka Base axis ten statue whether ye shape one center lemankat yale distance no y till limi barole shape one malatno. Therefore, a chi distance in tenet bemaja maria, a chi distance a chi distance a chi distance malat twenty divided by two inch centimalatin asser. Therefore, asser plus two hundred fifty two hundred sixty on al malatin. Therefore, y till d for shape one is 260 okay y till d times area 624 times 10 to the power of 3 is at any okay shape 2 what the area of shape 2 area of rectangles lona base times 8 base into 20 no height domo 250 no therefore um the, the area of shape 1 is 5 times 10 to the power of 3 okay what about y till d y till d is just simply the distance from the base axis up to the center of this shape one therefore a distance internal 250 divided by 2 and this is 125 okay y till d times area 625 times 10 to the power of 3 setting up. therefore summation of area is equal to 7.4 times 10 to the power of 3 summation of 4 tilde times area is equal to 1249 times 10 to the power of 3 therefore y bar is equal to the summation of y tilde times area divided by the summation of area and this gives me 168.78 mm okay y bar okay now <clears throat> moment of inertia comes to the feed I would like to uh, revise for you one important theorem that is parallel axis theorem. Okay, parallel axis theorem is important when we're calculating moment of inertia for composite bodies. Okay, moment of inertia, uh, uh, parallel axis theorem, single member know. If we know moment of inertia about any axis, we can determine the moment of inertia of any axis which is parallel to the axis. Okay. Ah, man, ma let's know. Let's yeah, zero rectangle moment of inertia. Marco Cohona, for instance, about O O Marco Cohona. Parallel axis theorem that I give me any line which is parallel to O O, for example, if I have a line A A which is parallel to O O, I can determine the moment of inertia of A A. Okay. Yes, the mark of one or oh, mark of one a a market channel. Okay, simple lem sali the rectangle no. The rectangle moment of inertia and no b h cubed over as rolet no about o o because o o is a central axis for this rectangle. Okay, therefore yes, the moment of inertia and no b h cubed over as rolet. Okay, what about if I ask you to determine moment of inertia about a a? Okay, first a a must be parallel to o o to apply parallel axis theorem. Yes, therefore what is the distance between O and A. Let us say it's D. Okay. If I know area of this rectangle and if I know the distance between these two lines, parallel axis theorem, moment of inertia of I 
about AA of an area A with respect to the axis AA. Therefore, IA is equal to I till D plus A square. I till D malati no. Just simply moment of inertia here yeah, malat. Okay. Therefore, A D square. A distance D square ba madragna A area ba mabazat. Any moment of inertia which is parallel to O magnetic chala al malat no. Okay. Yen concept ingridi wadat yago apply it in the number madragna al malat no. Okay, uh, step two is locate the distance D of each element for the centroid from the centroid Y bar and calculate moment of inertia for each shapes about their centroidal axis. Okay, let us calculate moment of inertia of shape one. Okay, shape one rectangle now. Rectangle, therefore, moment of inertia I1 about X axis about its centroidal X axis. B H cubed over 12. B is 120. H is um, 20. Therefore, this is 80,000 mm the power of 40. Okay, what is the moment of inertia of shape 2 about it is centroidal x axis? Okay, bezu. 20 no h to 250 no therefore bh cubed over as rowlet this will be 26 million for 1666.67 mm the power of 4 okay now we have calculated the moment of inertia for each shapes about their centroidal axis centroidal x axis okay okay now but the question is to determine the moment of inertia about this xc okay let us apply parallel axis theorem if i know the moment of inertia about this axis okay if i know the moment of inertia about this axis and if i know the distance between this axis and this axis let us say this is d1 d1 is equal to 260 minus 168.78 91.22 the distance from the base up to the center of shape 1 is 260 the distance from the base up to the center xc is 168.78 therefore d1 is 91.22 therefore this distance is d1 <clears throat> by squaring this distance and multiplying with this area plus the moment of inertia of this shape about its central axis will give me moment of inertia of shape one about xc okay okay what about shape two moment of in moment of inertia of shape two about it is central axis is calculated but if we ask it to determine moment of inertia about xc we have to know this distance. This distance is D2. Okay. D2 is equal to 168.7A minus 125. Okay. D2 is equal to M M. D2 is equal to 43.78 mm. Okay. If I know D2, if I know moment of inertia about this central axis by squaring this distance and multiplying with the area of shape 2 and adding to the i2 i can calculate moment of inertia of shape 2 about xc finally the moment of inertia of shape 1 and shape 2 about xc is simply adding the two moment of inertia okay you think that, that calculated using the parallel axis theorem okay to simplify this we have to prepare table okay using the table method okay um, this column is segment and this column is area and this column is D and this column is the moment of inertia for each shapes about their, about their centroidal axis and this is a D square okay okay area of shape 1 is 2.4 times 10 to the power of 3 area of shape 2 is 5 times 10 to the power of 3 D1 is 91.22 area 2 is uh, D2 is equal to 43.78 mm okay i x or i tilde x for shape one is 80 times 10 to the power of three we have calculated here okay moment of inertia for shape two about its centroidal axis is 26.04 times 10 to the power of six we have calculated it here okay now a times d square for shape one area is 2.4 times 10 to the power of 3 d1 is 91.2 multiplying it gives 
19.97 times 10 to the power of 6 8 square for shape 2 is 5 times 10 to the power of 3 times d square which is for 3.78 square gives me this gives me 9.58342 2 times 10 to the power of 6 finally summing those values it gives 29.55405 times 10 to the power of 6 and adding this colon also gives 26.12 times 10 to the power of 6 okay finally the moment of inertia about the centroidal xc ixc is equal to ix plus a square or i till dx plus a square we have calculated ix and i have explained for you what ix is and a square also finally we can add the two values and the moment of inertia about centroidal axis is 55.6757 times 10 to the power of 6 m m the power of 4 okay simply applying parallax theorem it's very important okay to calculate the moment of inertia of composite bodies thank you for watching